All right. First thing I want to do is um, I want to adjust my my timeline here. Um, it's set by default to 100. We're going to expand it just a bit. We'll make it 5,000 to make sure we can get all of that soundtrack in there. And what I'll do first is I will make a dummy. Dummy. And I will... Oh, I'm sorry, I was building... Uh, I was building something earlier with my engineer buddy. And I have it set to the kind of units. What you do for something like that is um, you go to customize unit setup and just make sure the generic units is clicked. You can go back and uh, you will have uh, your default max units. <coughs> okay, so we have our dummy, and right away we're just going to jump right into our uh, curve editor. And uh, before we do that, let me close this. You see how this is like the default scene. I'm not going to work with it like this. I rarely work with it like this. Um, well, I'll show you in a minute. First thing I do is I bring up my layers usually and I dock that. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, You don't dock it like that. Well, it's not embarrassing. It's not like you, you guys are watching this video. So I right click somewhere here. Configure. No. Layers. There we go. So now we have our layers here. And now we'll open our curve editor, which I will indeed dock. And see how these are really uh, flattened out now? This is one of the main reasons. What I want to do is click on this little plus sign and configure layout. And I'm just going to set it to two panels, uh, vertical settings or horizontally placed. Make sure this one's perspective. And right away, I'm going to hit Shift F on my keyboard so I get my safe frame. And I will bring up this. my render setup um, options or panel I don't I don't know what this is <coughs> HD TV settings now close this All right, so now we have a wider setting here and um, okay so we're gonna move this um, dummy based on the sound from the bubble song and how we do that we go into our curve editor here and we're since we're gonna be moving it we want to go to our position we could be more specific and do X Y or Z but we're just gonna do position overall um, assign controller and audio position this gives us another dialog box here we can choose our sound see it jumps to my audio audio link tutorial you might have to hunt around <coughs> so double click our bubbles edit and the base point is where um, this will sit when there's absolutely no sound when there's no effect on it and target point will be its maximum movement ability based on the sound that's given so we can say a hundred and we'll see right away two things happen it updates in the screen here and it also updates in our uh, our curve editor so as we drag now we can see this is moving with it. And this is playing in real time. Uh, in order, okay, so we have that. We have both channels and a mix setting. Uh, oversampling will smooth out the 
so it's not so peaky. Uh, I always get in trouble. See that it's kind of it kind of like equalizes it. Let's keep that at one. One hundred. We only want to move on the Z axis, which is up and down the Studio Max. Some other three D packages will have it a little bit different. Um. Well, it will have some of the coordinates different. Yeah, uh, just just check your software. All right, so close since we have that set. And now what we want to do is order to preview the sound, like in our ears, so we can hear it. <coughs> what you have to do is right click inside the numbers part of it portion, and we can go to uh, show soundtrack which we don't have currently and uh... well our curve editor portion, well first what we'll do is let's see where the sound dies let's say 3520 and we'll adjust our timeline accordingly Three five two zero. And now we will um we'll hide this. Hide and we will well we can um actually let's let's go back in. We'll go to make sure you go into this sound here, right below world, sound, right click it properties add bubbles edit again and again two things happen you see um well one thing happened you see that the um sound preview is right inside with our our timeline now and uh, all these settings are correct i'm not going to go into these different things um for example, you can set a metronome to go at a certain uh, BPM. If you happen to know a BPM of a song, you're trying to animate to it or whatever, 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 whatever. But that's all we need. So if you scrub now, you'll be able to hear it. Um, you guys obviously won't be able to hear it right now, but I can hear it. Actually, I can't hear it. Why can't I hear it? I can hear it when I scrub, but not when I play. It should be able to do. You should be able to hear it as you play. Usually, the reason that you can't hear it when it when it's playing is because you don't have real time checked. Um, by default, real time will be checked. But um, well, I, I don't know. It's not all that important. So we see our dummy bouncing to the beat. And that's basically all this really is. Um, now I am going to hide this. And I'm going to add particles now to this so we come back we'll, we'll add particles using pflow you guys know that I love pflow <laughs> 